Joseph Kossuth is one of the pioneers of contemporary art. He burst onto the scene when he was just 20 years old, having moved from Ohio to New York. It was 1965, and the city was the new capital of the post-war art world. Kossuth started out as a painter, but soon abandoned it because he felt it was impossible to say anything new about art in a medium that was so old. To be an artist now, he said, means to question the nature of art. For him, the nature of an artwork was not its formal properties, its shape or colour, not even its physical presence, but rather it was the idea behind the artwork. This exhibition at Sprout Margas in London focuses on Kossuth's neon sculptures from 1965 to 2011. Neon is not a material often associated with fine art, at least it wasn't when Kossuth started using it. He was trying to get away from the traditions and the tricks of the art that had gone before. This is four colours, four words, from 1966. Not only does the sculpture announce what it literally is, but it shows you how it works. You can see the wires here connecting the letters, the electrical cables, and even the power sockets. Nothing here is concealed. Although words have been a feature of art since long before Kossuth's time, he was one of the first to give them such a central role. For the conceptual artists of the 1960s, using text became a way of challenging the notion that an artwork should consist of a physical object. Kossuth has said that art is making meaning. In these text sculptures, he explores the ways in which meaning is tied to language. A conceptual art gave us a level playing field in which we no longer had the model of the artist as the idiot savant, as the Christ-like, shaman-like figure the expressionist artist, right? Once conceptual art said it's about ideas and the work, the success or failure of the work has to do with the ideas. It's not about this idea of this, you know, messianic hero making them dripping and splashing and giving the aura of his drips on the canvas. Once you get rid of that idea of the artist, um, we, from that moment on, more and more of the best artists are women, right? And um, so that's one, has been one of the really important, I think, impacts of conceptual art that I personally am very proud of. As the years have gone by, um, a young artists can just make conceptual art and they can just call it art, right? And um, I think that's, you know, for me, a form of, it's both a, a success and a warning from my point of view. As I was very much opposed to working with traditional uh, forms of art that were so loaded with prior meaning. And so um, I had to find other ways of working. And I liked Neon because um, first I, I, it had a lot of qualities I could unpack. Um, also, I was not a fine art material. Then, now of course it's 50 years plus, but at that time it was um, not, um, uh, it was something that was signage on the street. People were used to reading um, Neon, uh, but, and it had that popular art bleed to it, you know, the kind of meaning, which wasn't a fine art meaning. But for my generation, it was, it made sense. It was a, it was a very useful material, alive, but signage at the same time. And increasingly, this supposedly elitist activity called art, this sort of specialized activity, you end up seeing more and more museums of contemporary art and modern art being built. You have more and more kids coming out of university wanting to be artists, going into art schools, etc. And so we realized that somehow, in terms of um, the meaning crisis that science really has given us as a religion, it meant that people have, are drawn toward art, that somehow art um, is managing to by showing us, particularly art that comes from, I think, the horizon line of mass culture, which forms all of our consciousness, to tell us something about our existence in a way that deals with these philosophical, like, but no longer exactly philosophy, um, issues. And so increasingly art has a really important uh, uh, role to play. 
This exhibition is a testament to Kasuth's rigorous conceptualism, and yet, with its lively, salon-style hang, it's also rather beautiful. The curators have arranged the works, not according to chronology, but what looks good together. And it does look good. If you like your conceptual art with a strong dose of colour, this is an exhibition for you.